Next time, perhaps you can bring poetry and read aloud. Perhaps next time I could be convinced. And does this give you ideas to write for yourself? Good mind, good mind. I think it's a fun title, though. Your Grace! Uh, Master Galloway, Mistress Galloway! What a nice surprise! Back from Scotland so soon? Well, I found that I could not stay away from this place for too long. Well, we are delighted to have you with us again. As am I, and I come not empty-handed. May I? What has the merchant's wife brought us today? They're a set of sleeves. They are gorgeous. I have a kirtle I have not yet had the opportunity to wear. They will match perfectly. Gramercy. And did anything else make it across the waters with you? Hi. You sound somber. Well, I fear I do not bring good news. Perhaps this is best read in the privacy of one's own chamber. I have not yet heard from Father Cavendish, but when I do, I may have another task for you. Stay vigilant. And how was Scotland? Uh, much changed. Uh, many of the friends that I knew as a lass, I could not find. And the air, it felt well, less clear as it does here in the new world. I felt much the same when I left last year. And were you able to visit my husband's properties in Scotland? Oh, the Eddick properties? They did seem to thrive when we did visit. But your brother-in-law is Protestant, so... So our properties are safe. Do you think to return there one day? There's so much to do here, and... No, I do not entertain the notion often. That's a fair point, sister. Our mother has not yet returned herself, do you plan to stay long? She would be sorry to have missed you. We hope to be wintering here. Ah, excellent news. She'd be glad to hear of it. Uh, speaking of news, I hear tell that your daughter does intend to marry. <laughs> there are no formal agreements for my eldest daughter as of yet. A wealthy widower may be a kind choice for her. I was unaware that he had previously been wed. Nor is that something I had heard. His grace is already familiar with the family. Does he know of this? If he does, it is insight he has not cared to share. Perhaps it was a short marriage. Oh, uh, to, to that I cannot attest. Um, I know very little of his previous marriage, only that he was. Hmm. Well, either he will tell us of his past or we will discover it on our own. It's quite the chill in the air. Shall we go inside? Anne, the children, please. Yes, your grace. Grace? Children, come hither. My lady? Sister, I think that we should do some discovering. I cared not for his demeanor when I was last in his presence. And I do not think it has improved much since then. I would be inclined to agree. Aye. Do you think this is a good match for the lady? Her grace does not tolerate wagging tongues. Even from us. I know, I know. Well, what is it then? Out with it. What if a person knew something? Something about another above the station, but there is no proof beyond that person's words and that person wasn't exactly the type to always be believed. Then that person should take whatever information they have to the Duchess so that she might make a decision on the matter if a decision needs to be made. That is up to her grace to do as she sees fit. Of course, thank you. My lady, you will be stunning in this. Were I a gentleman, I would marry you in a heartbeat. Some men are not swayed by a pretty gown. Most a pretty dowry and a title. 
I know that's why I get these marriage proposals. Oh, well, that's not true, my lady. You are young and bright and... <laughs> and they know nothing about me. I've hardly had a chance to do any socializing out here in the middle of nowhere in the new world. You're being too hard on yourself, my lady. You are the daughter of a duke and a duchess. Your great-grandfather was the king of Scotland. That's true. Your pedigree may entice the suitors at first. But your parents have given you leeway to choose from many. You do not have to settle for the first choice. Though, my lady, I would beg you, please settle down long enough for me to hem this. Right, sorry. <laughs> you are nervous, that is to be expected. All you've received up until this point were letters. This is the first time that a suitor has ever traveled all the way out here to come and see you. Uh, I am well aware. Letters I can figure out. I don't have to look them in the eye. He... he did not write you first? Only my father, the Duke. What if I'm not suited for marriage? It is only your nerves, my lady. Here. This might raise your spirits. <sighs> now do you feel better? Does warm account? <laughs> Truth be told, I don't know how to feel. Some women wait their entire lives for this decision. I can't decide for myself. Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I nauseous? I don't know how to feel. Well, lady, you're gonna feel my needle if you don't hold still. Right, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> It's okay. You could always scale the castle walls like your mother and go elope with Thomas. Oh. <laughs>